What's up guys? Alright, so I have something I want to share that I haven't shared before, but some of you guys might already expect it or suspect it or assume it or whatever based on watching my videos, but I've never come out and said it. So I'm finally making this video to explain um, or share with you something that I haven't before. And basically what I'm trying to say is I stink. Alright? I work really hard when I'm on the ice, but at the end of the day, no matter how hard I try, my equipment smells. Now one of the worst parts about being a goalie is the fact that you can't really wash most of your gear. In fact, I don't wash any of my equipment. The only thing I actually do wash is the undershirt and pants that I wear. Everything else, I just air dry and unfortunately for my girlfriend, that's in the same room that she does her homework. So I feel really bad, but I just don't know what to do about it. However, a company called Odor Cleanse reached out to me and said, hey, we'll sponsor a video if you try out and like our deodorizing sports powder. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, yeah, I'll definitely check it out. Tell me more. So they explained and what they told me was that it's odorless and it's fragrance free. It is 100% natural. So you don't have to worry about it if it gets on your skin. But the most important thing to me, and it might not be important to you guys, but as I mentioned in a previous video, I'm vegan, which means I do not eat any animals, like any sort of meat, as well as the byproduct of those animals. So like eggs, milk, dairy, cheese, like all that stuff. So my biggest question to them was, well, is it vegan? Which means, is it cruelty free when it comes to products? Uh, so they don't test it on animals. And that was a deciding factor of whether or not I would actually try and review their product. And when I got the email back saying that it was vegan, it was cruelty free, they do not test on animals, I was excited because I was like, okay, great, I will definitely check it out. So with that being said, guys, this video is a sponsored video from Odor Cleanse. And I am extremely excited to tell you guys and show you guys how it works and what it can do for you. So right here, is the Odor Cleanse Sport Edition. It's a powder. This is really good for like shoes and like the equipment you can't throw in the washer or dryer. The only stuff I do wash is the shirt and the pants that I wear underneath my equipment. So I've never washed this stuff. So as you can imagine, it smells pretty bad. And <coughs> okay, don't do that. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. I've never done that before and I'm not gonna do that again. Oh my gosh. That's bad. Whew. I am, I feel so bad for my girlfriend right now. And it's like one of those things like, you don't realize how bad stuff smells because it's your own body. Oh, um, whew. All right, anyways, I'm not like, I'm not even exaggerating that, that, that's bad. Whew. Okay, anyways, so that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna show you guys me using it and then I'm gonna let it sit for a bit and then let you guys know uh, what happened. So, I'm gonna start with my skates. The way it works is, you just wanna open up this, like this, and you literally just drop it in. You can kinda see the powder coming out, just drop it in. And now, you might be wondering, well, uh, and then make sure, yeah, you hit it like this so it gets all in there. So it basically creates like a powder coating of your inside of your shoe. And that's it. You just let it be. So I'm gonna do it to the next skate. So you just, yeah, you put it in. I wanna get it in deep. I don't think it's gonna make a difference right off the bat. I think it's one of those like, it will have to absorb the odor, so it might take a day or two. Again, don't, don't smell these. This might get all over the place, and I recommend doing it outside but it's the middle of winter, so I'm not doing that. But it is pet friendly and it's okay. Like if you get it on your skin, nothing's gonna happen. I got it here on the coffee table. It's probably on this couch a little bit, so at least you don't have to worry about that. All right, quick tip for anybody who uses knee pads and if you find that they keep sliding down, I've heard some people have that problem. Yeah, it's because I got all my equipment out. 
<laughs> I'm hoping to correct it. No, like, like it really smells bad in here. Like, how bad? Like, like really bad. Okay, well, that's why I'm using this product to hopefully alleviate that. You want to say hi to everyone? <laughs> All right, I don't know if you guys heard that, but as soon as Jacqueline walked in, she's like, it smells really bad in here. And I think it's because I moved my gear from the corner of the room, like the corner of the house, to out here. So I'm gonna try to do this quickly so it doesn't stink up the place too much. All right, so if any of you guys use knee pads like these and you have three or four straps and you find it slipping down your leg, what I find really helps is actually take the top strap, which mine has a rubber kind of material on it, and I actually crisscross the strap. So I put that one on like down on an angle and then I actually put the one, the second strap at the top. That solution I have found to work really well and it has never slipped. And I think it's just because it makes it a little bit tighter on your leg and uh, that's it. And I also actually put this directly on my leg and then I put my pants over top of it and I find that helps as well. So that's a quick tip for anybody who finds that their pads, their knee pads fall down. All right, so the next step, I'll do my jock. I, I don't wanna, I don't even wanna smell this. Don't even wanna try. So just put the powder in. All right, that's done. All right, so now the glove, I guess the best thing to do would be to open it up. Kind of hit it, let it get all down there, rub it in a bit. If you guys like my retro setup, hit that like button because I know not everybody likes the whole retro brown kind of color, but like, I think my, I love them. I love this whole setup. Like, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna ever go back to anything but like a brown setup. All right, so put the powder in the glove. I'm just gonna also put it on the palm itself. I don't know how much you need to put and everything, but I'm just putting it everywhere that the sweat would probably be accumulating on. So let's do that. All right. It's all done. For the most part, my helmet doesn't smell horrible. So I'm going to put a little bit in here. I'm not going to go too crazy and see what happens. See if it makes a difference. All right, that should be enough. Ooh, maybe that's a cool way of doing it. There we go. I figured something new out. Just hit it, and it'll go up, and there you go. And it doesn't even coat. Maybe that's the best way to do it. So, that's everything. And you know what? I don't know if pads, like, do pads smell? Not really. So, I don't know if you necessarily need to do, like, the inside of your pad. I think at this point, I'm just kind of going overkill, but... I guess you could if you want to. I don't think I'm going to. I don't think I need to. Yeah, I don't, I don't really smell anything. I might be biased. I might be used to it now, sitting next to my equipment for the last little bit. But uh, I don't think I'm gonna put it on my pads. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and uh, see what happens. So I will be back in a little while. for the channel thanks yeah. all right so I let it sit for a little while now I know it probably needs an overnight or a day or so to actually fully absorb all that odor but I just want to see if I notice any difference from when I first started to now so I'm gonna just do a quick little smell test which is like the weirdest thing to do to your own equipment I don't ever recommend it unless you try this and you want to see for yourself but I'm just gonna smell it see if I notice any difference so let's start with the blocker You know what, that's, that's not bad. Jacqueline? Yeah? How willing would you be to smell my equipment? Not, not willing at all. But like, what if I told you the smell is gone? I, I don't believe you. You don't believe me? Well, would you be willing to smell to see if it worked or not? Okay. Yeah? 
Okay, if you don't mind. Alright, so Jacqueline. By the way, Jacqueline's my girlfriend. I've never really put her in any videos. She doesn't like being on videos, but for her to do this um, is just to prove whether or not she's very honest. So if it smells bad, she will not be afraid to say it. So, full disclaimer it probably takes like overnight or a couple days for it to take a full effect, but we'll see. This is a test. Um, hey, we got our couch all today. Yeah, it comes out though. Don't worry. Alright, so, first test. Wait, did I want to have to smell it? Shouldn't I have smelled it earlier? You probably should have smelled it earlier and I, I should have, but you were in here. So, alright. Okay. Just smell it. Do you smell anything? No, actually. <laughs> That's so <laughs> weird. Right? And it's... Okay. It looks gnarly. In but it doesn't smell. Okay. That's number one. Number two. That one I can still smell a little bit, but maybe you just didn't put enough. Maybe. It's also harder because like it's so enclosed. Like anyways, okay. So alright, we're we're like one and a half out of two. Let's just throw that here. I mean I don't think I don't think my helmet smelled to start off with, but do you smell? I didn't put much in this one. Mm, yeah, I can still smell a little bit. Usually like shoes and I know. This is gross, man. <laughs> Oh, it works. It works. It's gone, right? That's okay. crazy. But to be 100% honest, the worst smelling thing were these. So I really caked it on. Like, when I smelt these, I coughed and I, could, like, I couldn't breathe. So I'm forewarning you, they still smell pretty bad. I can't believe I'm doing this. I know. It's so gross. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, it smells a little bit still. What about Raiden? I mean, it's definitely not bad but like like the fact that you came in and you were like it was gross and now you're like putting your nose in so all right guys well if that doesn't show you that this stuff works i don't know what will totally like she's honest she would not lie she's not doing this for the video i really appreciate you being in this video thank you and um anyway so with that being said I am fully recommending Odor Cleanse. I'm going to get a lot more. I know they sell a bigger bottle, so I'm definitely going to do that. If you're interested in getting your own bottle of the Sports Deodorizer Powder, just click the link in the description and make sure you use the promo code TPSH15 and you'll get a 15% discount on your order. So thank you for watching this video. I truly do appreciate all of you guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button. And if you want me to review any other products, let me know in the comment section below if there's something you guys want me to test out or if you use Odor Cleanse and you like it as well. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys on the ice.